What is up guys? Welcome to another video. Today, if you can tell by the title, we are going to go over everything on my desktop. You know, what Steam skin I use, uh, any other little gadget or trick I run uh, on my computer in the background. You know, what programs I use for any little thing. Stick around, I'm gonna go over all of it. Uh, if you're not interested, feel free to click off the video. But anyways, guys, uh, I was just thinking of different ideas I could uh, use for making a video, and this kind of popped into my head after uh, reading a forum article. I'll leave a link down to it uh, below, but basically on the KB Mod forums, they were uh, posting desktops, and everybody was talking about different gadgets and things that they use on their computer, and I was like, hey, why don't I just make a video about that and kind of show off my stuff? So anyway, link down to that thread down below go check out KB mod it's an awesome forum a bunch of uh, PC guys just talking about you know whatever super friendly so if you're looking for community to get involved with highly recommend it uh, that's enough plugging KB mod but anyway let's get on to my desktop starting down here this is rain meter rain meter is basically uh, a widget or you can think of it as a gadget uh, that you can put on your desktop and as you can see I have the weather going and some basic computer monitoring things uh, I, again, links to everything that I talk about will be down in the description, but uh, you can download the program and basically just load up. Uh, I'm using actually a combination of different things. So this little rotation thing is one uh, little gadget and it it's just for aesthetics, you know, that doesn't really do anything. The next one is just kind of uh, showing the percentage uh, or usage of my computer. So I'm using, you know, like 20% of my processor, 15% of my memory, and 77% of my C drive. Those are all things that I'm pretty much curious about uh, monitoring at least, because, you know, uh, I can get a lot of temp files, I realized, on my C drive. And, you know, if I um, kind of backlogging a bunch of junk, then I can see that number just offhand and know I need to go clear out some, some temp files or some crap off my C drive that's been, uh, Getting backlogged, you know, my memory, I'm always curious if a game has a memory leak. Especially, I've been playing a lot of Star Citizen, and that is, like, pretty much early alpha. And with games like that, you, I would recommend you kind of keep an eye on your system to make sure nothing's going completely bonkers. But uh, I like to have a kind of an idea of what a game or a program is using. Same with the CPU. Make sure um, nothing's going completely overboard on my usage. Uh, my computer is really pretty stable. I've had it stable for a long time, so I'm not too concerned about temperatures. But there are plenty of gadgets and um, different skins, they're called, you can load, that will monitor you know, your temps, all kinds of stuff. Unfortunately, with Rain Meter to uh, really monitor a lot of temps, usually you have to be running background programs like uh, Core Temp or, you know, like, uh, MSI Afterburner, I think a lot of the GPU ones use. So, unfortunately, the temperature monitoring isn't as uh, conducive or easy to use as something as just like uh, the, the actual percentage usage as I have loaded up here. Uh, again, it, it's really simple. When you open up Rain Meter, it'll just be in your tray. You can go in and like say Animation 1, I'll just hit Load. And that's all this is right here. I can move it around. It's just an animation, but uh, you know, there's a bunch of different stuff I could load up like a music player. Oh, this one isn't working. Apologize But uh, you know another thing we could load up here. This is got some weather. It's got a bunch of different stuff on it um, I can you know monitor my CPU usage my network a lot of these Sometimes you have to like I said run third-party programs in the background or do a little bit of tweaking to get them working That's the kind of the cool thing about rain meter is it's very customizable but with everything that's super customizable, there's sometimes some workarounds you have to use. So uh, anyway, links to all that stuff down below and a website that you can go get Rain Meter skins. Just go download a couple. Uh, they're really easy to install and then uh, kind of use a combination. Like I'm using three different things, as you can see here. Like I'm using very flat weather uh, and then I'm using like uh, this animation thing and then I'm using another thing for my CPU and memory and all that. So anyway, that's enough about Rain Meter, but that's basically how that works. If you guys are looking for a kind of a cleaner look for monitoring your computer, Rain Meter is a great way to do that. It might take a little bit of tweaking to get everything up and running how you want it, but I promise it'll be worth it, uh, and it, it looks really sleek. Alrighty guys, next on to my Steam skin. This is just Metro for Steam. Again, links to this stuff below, but basically you just go uh, type in Steam skin and uh, go to your preferred site. You can go, you know, look through a bunch of different things and uh, go find one. Usually they they come in zip files, so you just uh, once you download it, 
you're going to go ahead and extract it to you know your C drive program files x86 steam then skins that's the path uh, some of them you'll have to install certain fonts uh, fortunately for me since I run Windows 8 I don't need to install a Windows 8 font it already is on my computer so anyway that's all you have to do is extract it there and then go to your settings interface and then this little um, down arrow you just select your skin hit OK you'll probably have to restart steam real quick and it will load up with the steam skin installed so uh, it's a really great way to kind of clean up your steam and you know it's one more thing you can kind of customize I really like the look of this one like I said there's a million out there so go check out the website and find one that you like Alrighty guys, another thing I'm just going to tack on here is Better Twitch TV. Uh, it's basically just an extension. You can just go down to you get extensions, type in BTTV, grab it here, add it to Chrome or Firefox or whatever your preferred browser is. And you can uh, scroll through these settings. There's a bunch of different ones from different emotes to uh, just probably the most obvious one is darkening the entire website, which I really like. Um, it, you know, it's just nice around the eyes but anyway uh, that's one extra thing if you watch a lot of streams I highly recommend you guys check it out alrighty guys now for you Windows 8 users out there obviously nobody likes this this uh, this just doesn't make any sense so how do we remedy that we get classic shell if you guys don't already use this I really recommend it basically turns Windows 8 into Windows 7 which I personally uh, have no problem with Windows 7 but I got Windows 8 for free and uh, really it did speed up my system so I prefer it in that regard but you know the UI of Windows 8 is just horrid so classic shell basically turns Windows 8 into Windows 7 like I said and uh, makes workflow much smoother much easier you can choose uh, basically a different start button and you're back to your Windows 7 start button you can go through all the different um, windows, how your files come up like this. Uh, it, it just makes everything much easier, and I really recommend all you guys that use Windows 8 to get Classic Shell. Alrighty, guys, now for the slew of monitoring tools. I think I'm going to finish it off here, but basically anytime I'm trying to do some overclocks or just get an idea of what's going on in my system these are some of the tools I'll use so CPU ID uh, the hardware monitor is great for checking basically a little bit of everything you can see all your voltages your min max um, pretty much everything you probably ever wanted to know as far as what's going on in your computer a hardware monitor will do a great job of showing you that CPU Z is uh, really great if you're doing overclocking on your CPU it gives you a very uh, specific uh, readouts of what's going on so your core voltage your uh, clock speeds all kinds of stuff you can go in and look at your your memory your graphics what those are running at um, all kinds of stuff really helpful tool when you're overclocking real temp is what I use for my CPU temps when I'm actually um, doing overclocking like I said hardware monitor is nice to have everything in one spot but I trust real temp and CPUZ a little bit better this is kind of a an all-in-one, but uh, I like prefer the two separate programs. I don't know. It's just what I'm used to. Speccy is a little bit of a simpler form of all of these programs kind of put together. So it'll just kind of tell you just a general gist of what's on your computer. So if you ever get a computer that you're not really sure what's on the inside or a laptop or something like that, that maybe uh, isn't as accessible as just cracking the side panel of a PC open, you can download Speccy. It will tell you everything that's in your computer. Uh, as far as GPU overclocking goes, I use EVGA Precision X, and that uh, is more than enough for me, and it works really well for what it is. So anyways, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for everything that I use pretty much on my computer, if you were ever curious. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will talk to you later.